You haven't been taking notice, but I sure have. I haven't been making proper YouTube videos in a long, long time. And there's a reason behind it. I got fed up with myself. I got fed up with the YouTube teaching culture. I got fed up with all the algorithm blazing videos that will gain thousands and thousands of views for a gimmick. I was also part of it. I tried to be, but it's, it's just not what I am. I'm a boring guy, I really am. I want just to teach you. I want to have this camera steady here. I want to show you things. I want to be as thorough as I can and as open as I can. But YouTube is not supporting it, really. YouTube wants me to make gimmicky headlines, clickbaity headlines, catchy thumbnails, and videos that are shorter than 10 minutes, but longer than eight, so that you want to watch it. This is not me. I want to show you things properly. I don't want to sprinkle all the information here and there, just that you will want to watch more of my videos and find the one golden nugget that's hidden somewhere there. This is YouTube. This golf and backhand driving, forehand driving, is a lot more simple than it's made to look like. It's a lot more simple than the coaches make you think. It's a lot more simple than you think. It's a, it's a lot more simple than it looks like when the pros do it. It really is. The reason is this. Coaches make you think that you are in control of every movement in your body. You are not. You start the movement, you can guide it gently, but the body will take over at one point, and if you control it, you are slow. You think that you have to do things like this, or this, or this when you throw, when in reality, you just have to let go. You just have to be loose. Some movements you have to do, consciously, of course, but you want to let your body take over. If you control the movements, you are being too slow. And thirdly, you watch Paul Macbeth, you watch Eagle McMahon, Gary Gerthy, all these great players throw, and you think that they do every movement consciously. Then you try to copy them, and what happens? You are not being yourself, you are trying to be Garrett Gerthy, and you think that Garrett Gerthy or Paul Macbeth controls every movement in their bodies. They are not. So this one-on-one -on -one series is about you. I want you to ask questions. I try to answer all of them. If there are thousands of questions and for some reason this series becomes popular, sorry, I can't answer you all. I want you to send me a video of your form on my Instagram. Please follow me, send me a video. I won't be answering you personally, but I will gather the videos and make some form checks about common mistakes that I see, all right? I want you to click the thumbs up. I want you to share if you find this helpful. And I want you to be part of this journey. It will take weeks, months, years, hell, even decades, if it comes to that. Only reason I'm making this series is to make you love disc golf learn how to throw backhand and forehand, maybe even putting. I want you to learn. I don't care about the masses, I care about you. This is the truth. Sounds stupid, sounds naive, but maybe I'm naive. The first lesson here is that buy one of these, Ultra Star by Discraft, and try to throw it like you're throwing your backhand in disc golf. Try to throw it as hard as you can. See what happens. If it wobbles, if it doesn't fly anywhere, if it feels hard, then you're doing something wrong. Common misconception is that you have to throw ultimate discs with a different technique than you throw disc golf discs. That is not true. 
You can throw these as hard as you can with the proper technique, like you would throw a Speed 14 overstable driver. You can do it if your technique is proper. If it's not, hop along and learn how to throw. See you in the next video.